Hey guys, Bowser Kerrigan here. This is video number two in my top 10 Super Robot Wars video series. Today I'm covering my top 10 songs from Super Robot Wars. And I gotta tell you, this is definitely the hardest of the four because I narrowed it down and I got to about 30 songs. Yes, 30 songs. So I had to narrow that down to 10. And because of that, expect the um, honorable mentions list to be a little more hefty this time around. It pained me to not include certain songs on this list, but it had to be done. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's begin. Playing OG second for the first time, part of me was most excited to hear the theme songs and new characters that would be debuting in the OG universe. In comes Ariel and her theme, Flickery Guys. It immediately captured my attention with the record scratch and kept me hooked with the jazzy and soft melody. The song only gets better as time goes on, as the beat slows down at the halfway point and lets the guitar just smoothly ride. Ariel is soft spoken and kind, but can be in your face and kick some ass when she needs to. This up tempo yet smooth song perfectly exemplifies that. Just like his mech, Uther's theme embodies the feeling of royalty. It sounds regal, powerful, and imposing. Not only that, but I feel the name itself is a powerful representation of what drives Uther. All the actions he takes, no matter how horrendous, are indeed for the love of his people. The song starts off slowly with a build-up, then breaks into a steady up-tempo pounding guitar until slowly climaxing into an almost angelic harmony. I doubt it's intentional, but the tempo of the song reflects Uther's journey to me. From the shy and reserved young man to the steady-handed king, and finally to the end of his journey that I won't spoil here. The King's love for his people is a great piece of music and one that fits Uther to a T. Gong is a great song on its own, but the reason I like it so much is that for me, it symbolizes the end of the Alpha continuity which had a great impact on me not only as a gamer but as a mecha fan as well. The original Alpha was the first Super Robot Wars game I played that had voice acting and that alone blew my mind, let alone the story and massive amount of units. It introduced me to a lot of series for the first time that I would go on to watch and then love like Gunbuster and Macross. Alpha Gaiden has one of the best plots in the series, it introduced Zinger Zonvolt for the first time ever. Alpha 2 brought the series to the PS2 with upgraded graphics and introduced Crossbone Gun to the franchise while finishing the Shards counterattack storyline in great fashion. And Alpha 3 is just a mecha fan's wet dream. Hearing the song play during the final stage in Alpha 3 made it really hit home that this continuity that was a big part of my early teen years was truly coming to an end. But what a send off it was.
first time I heard Dark Knight, I was blown away. If I had made this list years ago, this would have hands down been number one. I literally got excited every time Axel appeared on the map in OG2 because I knew his kick-ass theme song was coming with him. It's fast-paced and gives you a great sense of action, a perfect match for the Soul game with his flurry of punches and kicks. Over the years, I've come to have about four or five different versions of the song and they're all amazing. While I don't like it as much as I did when I first heard it, it's still amazing enough to make this list. Here's a peculiar entry, in the fact that I don't think this theme fits the character at all. Aim is a sleazy liar with no redeeming qualities about him, which makes you wonder why Ben Presto gave him such a cool theme song. As random as it sounds, I associate this song with Suzaku from Code Geass because I made it his theme in Z2.2, and it fit him much better than Aim. Theme ownership aside, Untrue Crystal starts with a slow build up until it hits you in the face with pounding guitar riffs and doesn't let up for the rest of the song. It's a great song for fast paced mecha action, and while the theme itself doesn't fit aim, he gets penny points for the title matching him, I guess. Just like with Dark Knight, the first time I heard this one, I was taken aback. Not because of how cool and actiony it sounded, but because it sounded creepy as hell. Especially under the circumstances in which you first hear it. I had just beaten the final boss of Z3.1, the anti-spiral from Gurren Logon. Instead of being greeted with the ending credits or typical farewells from the cast, some Travis Touchdown looking motherfucker shows up in a giant crab with his haunting theme blaring in the background. It didn't help that Shiku was legitimately creepy and spouting some really cryptic and interesting stuff to your characters. It was a perfect tease for the final game in the Z series and it's a moment that will stick with me, in large part to this song. The song itself hits you instantly with creepy chanting and then just breaks into what I can only describe as deep, distorted warbling. It's not a song you'll quickly forget, and I like it for that. Rai is a cool dude with a cool theme, almost always calm and collected, the smooth flow of Iceman fits him perfectly as his mech, the R2 slides across the battlefield while whipping enemies with his beam chalk ram. The song uses record scratches in a great way as they transition the song from a steady refrain to the more upbeat and jazzy bridge. It just comes together to form a very cool and smooth sound, leaving not much else to say here.
sexy, sultry, melodic. All adjectives that would perfectly describe this song. Zion is, as I'm sure you've already noticed, quite the alluring woman, making such a song fit her perfectly. I mean, her attire is literally nothing but lingerie for God's sakes. Demonic Ghost Allure is a great title not only because it describes Zion, but because the song itself has an alluring feel to it, almost like it would fit a succubus. It's a great jazz piece I've listened to countless times outside of gaming since I first heard it. If the last song could be described as sexy, then this one would have to be described as powerful. There's countless versions of Dark Prison, they all sound good, but my favorite definitely has to be the newest one using the Dark Prison game itself. The angelic voice harmonizing in the beginning borderline sent chills down my spine the first time I heard it. The Neo Grand song is the epitome of overpowered, and this theme just makes it all hit home with the hard hitting bass and wailing guitars with the voice in the background singing hauntingly. It's truly just a menacing piece of music that makes the already intimidating Neil Granzon all the more imposing.
Moon Knights is a bit different from the previous entries in the fact that I don't think it really embodies the characters it belongs to. Don't get me wrong, it works for them, but I don't instantly think of a set character like I do with say, Dark Prison or Iceman. Instead, I like the GBA version of Moon Knights for the simple fact, it sounds amazing. I explicitly stated GBA version because I felt the Moon Dwellers version lost the general feel of the original. They tried to make it sound ominous and menacing, and while it doesn't sound bad, I don't really care for it much. The GBA version is hard hitting, upbeat, and makes amazing use of the limited hardware the devs had to work with. I never once skipped an animation in Super Robot Wars J because Moon Knights just made every single skirmish it was used in amazing, no matter how minor or major the attacks or mechs being used. And that's not something I can say definitely for any other entry on this list. And that's why I just had to give it the number one spot. So there you have it, my top 10 songs from Super Robot Wars. Keep in mind that musical taste is probably the most subjective thing there is in this world. So a lot of these songs that I like, I can understand if you don't like them or you have no idea why I like them. But where I am right now in my life, these are the top 10 songs that I like. And like I said in the intro, there's a lot of songs I wish I could have included like Trombe, Zenger's themes, you know, Valletta's theme, but it had to be lowered down to 10, so yeah. Don't be mad if your favorite wasn't on this list. And if you are new to Super Robot Wars, I hope some of these songs maybe sparked an interest in the series for you. But for my Super Robot Wars fans, leave your list down in the comments or just one or two songs that you particularly like from the series. I want to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, have a great day.